Oh wait. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to SEO.academy. We have with us our senior developer from Websites Depot, uh, our master teacher, uh, Mr. Grant Bors. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Uh, so, uh, Grant has been, uh, you know, in uh, development since since young ages. Uh, he's young himself still, but, you know, younger than that, in the millennium era. Uh, he knows a lot about uh, internet, uh, app development. Uh, he's been teaching all our junior developers in our office uh, how to become seniors. So, uh, Grant, uh, tell us, what did you decide to, to do uh, coding and programming? You know, I started like as a kid and it actually started with video games and I wanted to kind of like hack the video games and then I saw how cool it was and I was just amazed with like all the code and all the stuff to learn and that's kind of just snowballed and here I am so so you guys see uh, from from a video game uh, number one player to senior master developer uh, <laughs> it's it's very good I mean you got yourself career um, and you didn't have to you know uh, struggle and you have a great uh, great future with, with this what you know so that's amazing uh, Grant tell us uh, more about uh, you know our students, uh, our uh, uh, um, people that come to our office and they want to learn, or our customers that you guys build websites and they have questions and they say, hey, you know, how how do I now you know manipulate my website? It's just like buying a car, how to drive a car. Uh, tell us like uh, you know what should a small business owner know about uh, web design and basics about the internet st stuff and stuff. Um, well, on your website, I mean, it's important to know like the basics, like how to change out images and how to do like posts and stuff. Um, but you have a business to run, so it's important that you focus on your business as well. It's like buying a car, like you need to know how to drive it, but if you need to fix it, you usually take it to a mechanic. So it's usually the basics that you want to know on the okay. website. A very good comparison. I like that. Uh, so, like a mechanic and, uh, and a car and drawing, and I know how to drive, I agree. Uh, the, the best platform you guys build websites or the most popular one is uh, definitely WordPress, right? And you, you're a yeah. WordPress senior, you're, fu you're basically a full stack developer. Um, tell us something about WordPress basics, like uh, how much do, do a business owner really has to know about WordPress uh, in order to know how to drive the WordPress site? Uh, you know, without knowing to fix it, but at least to know how to drive it. Yeah, WordPress is luckily, it's very user friendly. Um, you can kind of just go into the admin panel and everything's laid out really nice. Like it's not like a bunch of code and you're not going to really be intimidated. Um, and it's one of the biggest uh, content management systems that's out there. And there's a lot of tutorials and a lot of everything like resources if you have questions along the way. Um, so it's one of the best. Okay, and when you, when you teach uh clients or students uh, at SEO Academy, uh, like uh, how much do they really learn in one hour, two hours of your, of your classroom? Like how much you show them, um, you would say like, is it good enough for them to, to be able to, let's say, add a picture to the website or let's say, uh, you know, fix the spelling error or, uh, you know, update the news that they have going on in their business? Uh, uh, what would you say, how much can somebody learn from you guys in, in a couple of hours? A couple of hours, um, you can learn about all the pages on your website, like you can edit any text that you want, add any images that you want, you can customize your contact form. Um, there's a lot that you can do, like the way that we lay out the websites for our customers, it's very user friendly combined with WordPress and you can go in there and start making changes and see the changes live, it's pretty cool. Thank you, That's, yeah. uh, that sounds amazing, so you see you guys with no need to be scared. Uh, uh, Grant and the team, they, they can teach us enough in a couple of hours uh, to go in and do and do the most important changes that everybody wants to do. So uh, thank you very much about that. Uh, Grant is also a project manager uh, in, uh, in the office uh, here. We are right now as we speak in the web development office in Websites Depot. Um, a couple developers behind us right now conducting the development work. Um, Grant, pro project management is, is, is a very tough uh, uh, part of the part of the business, right? I know you guys are like code lovers, and you guys like to go in there and program and do the cool stuff and things is happening. Like, but then you know we have to deal with people. That's that's just part of the business. So, and you are one of uh, successful project managers. W what would you say? Like, what 
what is important for project to management to be a success, for the customer to be uh, happy at the end when the project is developed, that their ideas become reality. What would you say are the important factors? Being open is number one. I mean, a lot of people just kind of keep things to themselves and won't communicate what they really want in a website. And that's important because we want to make sure that you get what you want. Um, so just being open, being honest with us, telling us from the get-go, like, this is what I want my website to do, this is what I want it to function as, that's one of the most important things. Thank you very much. So communicate. we got to remember, communication is very yes. important. Um, express yourself. Uh, don't feel like you know you're holding something back, but it's it's good to tell them what what, what you want to hear, and as, like Grant said, uh, they will they will make it a reality for you. Um, we also know that you uh, you are like uh, tapping into uh, application development for uh, Androids and 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 iOS systems, uh, iPhones and so, so on. You are on a on a team of, uh, as a, as a junior <laughs> app developer. Yeah. Um, what, what, why are you tapping into that, and what do you see app development like? What do you guys what do you guys are up to right now? Well, the way I see it is like everyone right now. If you have a company, you have to have a website, and the way I see that going is. In the future, you're going to have to have an app as well. So every company that has a website, they're going to need an app as well. So that's why I'm kind of getting into the app development phase. And I'm still learning right now. I'm one of the junior developers for the apps while I'm a senior developer for the web. Um, but it's definitely something I see the way the future is going. Have an app. Have an app. I, I like that. I like that answer. It's true. I totally agree with with Grant. What what he stated, uh, Grant, tell us like say an app for, for a business. Let's say I'm I'm a I'm a small business. At, let's say like a tree trimming service. So I, I want a simple app for people to download and you know contact us for appointment or see what we do, read about us, see certification, our license number. Like a small app, you know. Like what would you say? business owner budget should be for, for, for such a small app like are we talking thousands ten thousands or what, what would you say it doesn't have to be that I mean if you want more custom functionality like yes the price is going to go up for but for a basic app like with contact information maybe an appointment booking form um, like a map like those, those don't have to be thousands of dollars they're relatively easy to build for us and uh, we can get you set up in the app store pretty quickly Okay, thank you. So it's affordable, it's fast, it's easy, and uh, if you guys, you know, would like that functionality, that's a different story. But yeah, th thank you for that answer, Grant. Uh, very nice of you. Um, now, uh, s some pe people at SEO Academy, students, they, they ask us, they say, uh, okay, Grant is a senior developer or experienced developer, and then, you know, you guys have here uh, junior developers. Like, what is... What is the difference you would say between uh, a senior developer? Uh, obviously, it's more expensive if senior developer is doing a website than a junior developer. But what are the basic differences between those two types of developers? Knowing a lot of issues that will arise and knowing how to like solve them. Um, I mean, when you've been doing it for a couple of years, like you start learning, and that's where I think the line between junior and senior kind of draws. Like. When I first became like a senior, um, it was when I was teaching people, junior developers, like how to resolve the issues. So that's kind of when like you know you're a senior developer is when you're helping other developers um, fix problems that you already know how to solve. So two years, any guy, any guy that wants to learn how to develop, it's going to take you two years to become a senior developer and you're going to be able to follow Grant. Uh, Grant is on our website. You can follow him on Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, he's a man with a lot of success and uh, uh, good motivation and spirit. So uh, th thank you for those answers, Grant. Um, now, uh, when you, s you mentioned when you teach those uh, junior developers, you know, I agree with you. Like Once you start teaching what you do, in any type of business, right? Even if you are like a chef, or if you are like a you know the SEO or, uh, marketer, like uh, like myself, when you become you know letting other people do what to do and we're teaching them, at that moment it's easier to to grasp where the you know w where to go, where the niche is going, and to stand out from the rest, and you become like senior in in, in that field. But what what do you like when those guys come from SEO Academy? 
or let's say when websites you put hires juniors, what do you usually you, you teach those juniors? Like what do you show them? What, what are the usually problems or issues? I usually make sure they're comfortable with WordPress first off, and then I show them all the latest technologies, um, like new frameworks, um, new plugins that we use. Um, just make sure that they know how to use them. Um, it's just very important to be on top like, of the game because it's a rapidly changing environment that we're in and it's changing every single year. I mean, you look back four or five years and responsive design wasn't even a thing and now it's like one of the standards. So you always have to be on top of like all the trends and new things that are coming out. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a very interesting answer and it's nice to hear how you guys help each other grow and you know fulfill. The, the, the loopholes and staying up to the up to the trend it's it's a really you know uh, amazing how you guys can keep up with with all the updates and and, and coding and you know I know I, I deal with you guys on a daily basis and I I see it happening and I'm really impressed uh, uh, what you guys deliver and I'm, I'm really glad you guys love doing that um, Grant uh, uh, thank you for being here today uh, we course. appreciate you uh, we have one last question for you uh, I know you know time is uh, very pre precious for developer like yourself. <laughs> you know, get back to see what, what the trends are. But uh, tell our listeners and our YouTube subscribers uh, that are watching us right now. What would you say? You know, wh why should they join or why should they like you know look into SEO Academy uh, if you know they are right now into different business? For example, let's say that they're doing some they're cutting hair or you know they are. Uh, still figuring out what to do or they drop off of the college or you know what, what would you suggest those 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 viewers and listeners i mean definitely take an interest in it i mean this is the world that we're living in now it's the technology era and it's always going to be rapidly growing so it's important to at least learn the basics because you want to know the basics of everything that's going on and this is one of the main things that's going on so it, it's very important to at least have a firm understanding of the world that we're living in. That's technology. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And uh, oh, Grant, what do you think about you know now where you mentioned that a lot of people that you know I know of and they did that you know they tried to do it and they couldn't make it happen. They got that fear. They were like, oh, this is so much code, and they just like the Java, the PHP, the CSS, they, you know, they hear all those terms and they think like, oh, this is now new math or new numbers I need to learn. What, what would you advise them so they, they, they lose that fear, that they, they, they become fearless and they can like, you know, grasp it? I mean, that was one of the things that almost discouraged me when I was learning and you type in like Google how to develop websites and they say HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and you start looking at all these coding languages and you're just like, wow, I can't do this, like, this is too much. But in reality, you really don't need to learn that much to get started. And the best way to get started is talking to someone who's already experienced in that field, and that would be us at SEO Academy. Um, so I would just say, come on in and talk with us, and we can teach you in the best way. Thank you very much. So come on in, subscribe to our channel, uh, you know, like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, thank you very much, Grant, yeah, for being you. part of SO Academy, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.